There is a moment in every human life when the truth becomes too heavy for the mind and too threatening for the ego, and the body is forced to carry it instead. The body stores overwhelming experiences because this is how the system stabilizes itself when processing capacity is exceeded. The body becomes the archive of everything the mind could not process, could not name, or did not have the support to understand. Let's explore this with precision, and also practically, so you can understand what your body has been protecting and how to begin relating to these stored experiences in a new way. The nervous system has one primary task, preservation and stability. When an experience overwhelms you, emotionally, relationally, or physically, your biology makes an immediate assessment of available capacity. If the system cannot process the load in real time, the survival response becomes interrupted. Fight or flight initiates but cannot complete. The exhale shortens, the diaphragm tightens, muscles brace as if absorbing impact. This is an incomplete stress response a sequence that stops mid-activation and remains stored as unresolved physiology. The amygdala holds the intensity. The fascia holds the tension. The diaphragm holds the interruption. Implicit memory holds the imprint. What you experience comes from automatic physiological mechanisms, patterns of activation, inhibition, and protective reflexes that operate beneath conscious awareness. You may not remember the story consciously, but your body remembers the sequence. There are truths we could not hold when we were young. There are emotions we could not name when regulation and co-regulation were absent. There were boundaries we could not set when the people around us were unpredictable, fragile, or unavailable. So the body stepped in. It became the container, the negotiator, and the stabilizer. Over time, what was once adaptive became a pattern. We harden in places where expression was needed. We collapse where support was missing. We tighten where fear lived. We numb in the spaces where desire wanted to emerge. We overfunction because slowing down once felt unsafe. We remain loyal to outdated internal positions because they once offered protection. What you experience as symptoms often reflects a deeper organizing principle. Your systems attempt to maintain coherence in moments when life asked too much. The body becomes a map of unfinished responses, interrupted impulses, and decisions made in states of limitation, not choice. To sense this more clearly, Bring the attention back into your body for a moment. Take a slow inhale and a slightly longer exhale. Let's look inward. What experience did my system have to absorb on my behalf? Something I didn't have the capacity, support or clarity to understand at the time. Allow images, sensations or subtle memories to surface. Where in my body do I sense something unresolved? A sensation, tension, or emptiness that feels older than the current moment? Let your awareness rest there without naming or fixing it. What way of being do I treat as an unquestionable truth, a role, a responsibility, a belief, because I've carried it for so long that I stopped asking whether it still belongs to me? Is there something I keep doing because I assume I have no other choice? And what if this assumption is the place where my system is overextended?
These questions work best when revisited. You can write down what came up and return to it later to observe how your system responds over time. Now let's expand this into somatic awareness. Place one hand on your rib cage and the other on an area that instinctively feels tense or quiet. Don't deepen the breath yet. Just arrive. Now gently lengthen your exhale by one or two seconds. The soft, unforced, stable. Start by noticing what feels the most alive or noticeable in your body right now, even if it's small or unclear. As you stay with that place, ask, what emotion, memory, or situation quietly connects to this sensation? And when you sense that connection, ask one more question. What have I been carrying here that I haven't allowed myself to acknowledge? Don't search. Let it appear. A word, a sensation, a direction, a subtle truth. This is how stored material begins to return, through regulation, permission, and presence. Your body has been holding information, impulses, and unfinished responses that were once too much to process. In this session, you explored how these imprints form, how the system stabilizes itself when capacity is exceeded, and how sensation, tension, or silence can carry parts of your history. This work continues by learning to recognize the relationship between the mind's interpretation, the body's reactions, and the subtle signals that connect the two. The next parts of this series will take you deeper into overload, patterns of adaptation, and specific ways to read your body's signals with more clarity and precision. If you want to stay connected to this process, you can subscribe so you're notified when the next episode is released.